Hey everyone, I know it's the end of 2021 and 2022 is upon us. Obviously we had an exciting year in crypto, a ton of great projects came out and a ton of great projects grew. There was Metaverse project, there was NFT projects, a, there was a bunch of staking, yield farming projects. So there's a bunch of projects that have been around for a while that just got super exciting. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five most exciting that I'm most excited about crypto projects. Uh, obviously, this is very do your own research, not financial advice. I want to make sure that you guys check these out on your own and figure out if this is something you want to jump into. But for me, these are the ones that are I'm obviously excited about a lot of things, but I, so it's definitely hard to choose. But these are five of the ones that I'm most excited about, I think are unique and definitely are bringing something different to the cryptocurrency space. So uh, I'm going to jump into it. If they're not in any specific order, I wanted to do them randomly. They're all just as exciting to me as the next. Obviously, I'm big holders in each one of these, so that's a disclaimer. Uh, but uh, I want to talk about this with you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, about these five and maybe if there's other ones out there that are exciting to you. Uh, and then obviously, I'm going to be making update videos on these each one of these separately in the upcoming week. So definitely follow along uh, for that. But let's just jump right into it now. My most exciting crypto projects my, based off my opinion uh, that I want to talk about today. So let's go. The first one that I want to talk about is Ethereum and this is probably uh, I've been I haven't been on the Ethereum website in quite a long time. Uh, I didn't even know this is what it looks like um, but it's no surprise that I'm a big Ethereum holder. Ethereum is probably my biggest um, you know crypto project that I'm a part of. Uh, I'm still excited about it. Obviously I think with NFTs uh, I do think uh, them launching on the Ethereum network. Obviously um, they're launching on a couple other networks what I, which I might be talking about later but I do think Ethereum is still super exciting for me. Obviously uh, there's been a lot of hype around Bitcoin and people have been tracking Bitcoin very closely but for me I felt like Ethereum has done a lot of great things. Obviously Ethereum 2.0. Obviously I think that uh, there's still a lot of room for growth for this and it's just something that I think is just going to be a fundamental part of the cryptocurrency space for a long time. Projects are constantly launching on Ethereum. Obviously I know projects are launching on Binance Smart Chain but I do think Ethereum is a solid network and I do think that they're continue going to be uh, an important project moving forward. Everyone says Bitcoin, gold, Ethereum, silver and I don't think that's going to change in any time in the near future. So um, that's why I uh, picked Ethereum as my uh, one of my top crypto projects that I'm excited about. Next project I'm going to talk about is Solana. I actually just recently got into Solana. I know I was a little bit late but when I saw a bunch of NFT projects all launching on Solana I did a couple of developer interviews where they were launching the NFT collections on Solana and all the great things about it. I just had to jump on board. Um, I think the biggest thing is when people launch especially NFT projects they complain about Ethereum gas fees. I've even heard of some NFT projects having to delay their launch or their minting because of the fact that Ethereum gas fees were so crazy. But I do think Solana offers a great solution for not only NFT projects but uh, a lot of projects in the future. But I definitely feel like the niche of NFT collections is definitely great. Um, obviously uh, there is a lot more to this. Obviously a great platform for developers and I definitely encourage you guys to check this out. Learn about this. I do think that they've had a lot of momentum this year especially more than um, the rest and I do think that it's really important. They specifically say on their website and that's one of the main selling points. Low cost forever. Fast forever. Um, <laughs> scalability insurance transaction will be less than a cent for both developers and users. It's not about speed with 400 millisecond block times. Um, and as hardware gets faster, so does the network. And like I said, when I hear NFT projects, which is obviously NFTs was huge this year, and I don't think that that train is going to stop anytime soon. I see a lot more projects heading to Solana. Uh, more than Ethereum as of late and I do think that you know uh, it's going to be great for this project and this token. So if you guys want to check it out uh, obviously crypto has been a little bit down but Solana's uh, remained pretty good. So uh, definitely check this out if it's something that you guys are interested in. I got in a little bit under 200. I was uh, excited when it got under 200. The all-time high was like 258 or something like that. 
But uh, I do think that uh, now is potentially uh, a decent price. I know a lot of people have been jumping in, but if you think about and look at the growth that it was from the beginning of this year, obviously if you correlate this to like NFT sales, etc., uh, I assume that uh, that was a huge part of the excitement. So something to definitely check out. Zookeeper is a hidden gem of my top five. It's a project that I already reviewed a few months ago. I'll put a link so you guys could check that out. But in that video, I mainly explained that yield farming features of Zookeeper and how it uses NFTs to boost farming rewards. However, what excites me the most right now, and the reason I put it in my top five for 2022, is their multi-chain gaming plan. It will be massive, and in this video, you'll find out why. Just keep in mind that the current market cap of the project is just 11 million, which is absolutely insane. This will dramatically change during Q1, Q2 of 2022, and here's the reasons why. Zookeeper partnered with a very reputable gaming studio, Yggdrasil Group. Yeah, here, if you actually search for home sweet home game, uh, you can check out some of the games that they've made. Uh, and it's just very, very well designed. It's not simple 2D games. Uh, I think they, they have really high quality, so definitely check that out if you guys are interested. So the success of Zookeeper doesn't just depend on a single game like many other crypto projects, but rather on many games. The first one will be Zoo Racers. The beta version will be released in Q1 and the final version in Q2. Uh, I can't wait to try it out for myself. Uh, it'll be free to play, and so I'm expecting a lot of people are going to at least be able to try it out. Here's a quick uh, video, a teaser on Zoo Racers. I probably tweeted about this in the past uh, when they first announced it, but definitely something that you guys should check out. Uh, I think that not only do I love all the characters in it, uh, <laughs> but I just love the, the concept of it, and I do think that it's going to be super fun for you guys to check out, uh, and I definitely want to make a video on that uh, when it gets closer to the release. I'm super excited about this. Zookeeper will also be available on other chains. Currently, Zookeeper is available on one chain, and it quickly became the most popular DApp on there. But I'd say 90% of the one chain users are using Zookeeper yield farming, which is kind of crazy, holding Zoo token and following the progress of the project. So they great built a great community off that. So if you take a look at their Twitter and Telegram, you could definitely see a lot of excited people there, um, which is great. Now, Zuki will use on-chain cross-chain technology to deploy their yield farming dApp, but also their future games on multiple blockchains. We're talking about Avalanche, BSC, Polygon, and potentially Phantom, Polkadot, and many other popular ones as well. But I think the first one is definitely going to be Avalanche. So there's definitely massive potential there, and that's why I'm super excited about this project. Uh, players from different blockchains competing each, against each other in real time is absolutely uh, a great idea, and it's something that I definitely want to follow along. Uh, they also have an update to OpenZoo. The NFT marketplace will be released very, very soon, literally in a matter of days. Uh, so definitely follow on Twitter and Telegram for the latest. Uh, in OpenZoo, remember, you guys can mint, buy, and sell NFTs for less than one cent. It will be a great opportunity for artists, designers, singers, and even gamers since they'll have gaming NFTs and assets to showcase their work without having to pay high fees. Like I said, the current market cap is relatively low for such an exciting project. A lot of exciting things are coming up on the roadmap. I do think that 2022, they have great potential, great momentum with releasing uh, their game, obviously the NFT marketplace. And I do think that they're well positioned, uh, you know, to really make uh, a huge impact and huge growth. So I talked about this before when I made a video on this a month ago, how excited I was then, and I'm even more excited about it now. So definitely check this project out. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to explore on your own. The next project I want to talk about is Sandbox, which actually Alpha Season 1 is just closed. So if you guys were able to participate in the Alpha, let me know in the comments. I thought it was really cool. They gave out uh, a bunch of different things in the game. Obviously, this has been uh, a lot of hype uh, towards this game. A lot of celebrities have been interested in this, buying up land, etc. You've probably heard all the hype in the metaverse, and the main two that people have been talking about is Decentraland and Sandbox. But for my opinion, I'm more excited for Sandbox. I'm a holder. I don't have any land in it, but I'm definitely tempted to buy some. Uh, I kind of love how the game looks like, and it kind of re reminds me of something like Roblox. Roblox had a lot of hype towards it, and you know, I think that this could definitely uh, fit the niche niche in the, the crypto blockchain space. Uh, and I'm just super excited about it. Uh, if you guys are interested, you don't know what Sandbox is, uh, it's uh, the metaverse, right? It's uh, it's fun. You could literally do anything in there. Here you could see Snoop Dogg had a concert. Uh, a lot of people are just kind of spending their time there, uh, whether they're not even playing a game or not. They just treated it like a social hub. And I do think it's really cool. And I do think that Alpha Season 2, which is coming up uh, really soon, uh, is going to have some great new features, 
play to earn rewards, more surprises, and I think a lot more people are going to jump into it. So if this is something that you're interested in, if you want to know uh, and experience the metaverse for yourself, this is something I would definitely check out. Um, they have a ton of crazy partners that they work with, and I constantly see them um, expanding on this. Uh, you can even check out the market to see what's for sale to give you guys kind of idea of all the hype, what's interesting to people. People want to buy stuff, show things off, uh, and like I said, some of these things are really rare and end up will be end up being a lot more valuable uh, when this game gets uh, actually released. So definitely check it out at the very least to see what people are buying. And you know, if you guys want to filter by things like Snoop Dogg, etc., uh, I do think that's exciting. I do think that there's a lot of potential here, and I can't wait to learn more about this, especially going to 2022. The last project I want to talk about is Big Time. Big Time is a triple A game that's coming out in the near future. Uh, they just had their space NFT sale where they're selling out, uh, they, they literally sold out uh, the space. So space uh, in big time is kind of uh, like your own personal metaverse where you could build out things uh, on there. There's things where you could build your forges for people to use. So they talked all about their space and what the difference is. Um, they gave an example of uh, how that even though you had a rare space uh, that you end up buying, it was kind of better to buy smaller spaces because you got uh, more sockets for your buck. So uh, I think that was really awesome, really exciting. If you've seen some of this gameplay, it looks really professional, kind of reminds me of like Dauntless or any other AAA games. Um, they kind of talked about the different rarities and how in the future you'll be able to do a lot more in them. So definitely something to check out. It's a, a play to earn game that I'm super excited about. A lot of people are super excited about. They have a great team on this project and I just can't wait to learn more um, about it. They're constantly being involved with the community. They're constantly talking about this. And like I said, they don't have a token powering this. It's all about things that you're going to potentially earn in game. And I just can't wait to, to learn more about it. It's definitely uh, going to be a place where people um, are going to be in for a long time. The community grew really quickly and I'm just excited for all the exciting things uh, to come with big time. So definitely something for you guys to check out. This is a multiplayer action RPG. It looks really great. And I do think that, um, you know, the team behind it came from a lot of great gaming companies and I wouldn't expect anything less than uh, an awesome game uh, in the crypto space. So those are the top five projects I was most excited about. Let me know if there's any that you're excited about. I'm going to keep you guys updated on these for sure. Uh, I'm going to do a video on them all each separately in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but remember, do your own research, not financial advice, and I can't wait to hear what you guys are excited about. And I can't wait to learn about all the new projects coming out in 2022. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. <laughs>